Heifer International is a global development organization on a mission to end hunger and poverty in a sustainable way. We work with smallholder farmers, equipping them with the tools they need to end hunger and poverty in their communities. We provide farming inputs such as livestock and seeds for fodder, as well as animal management and business training. We also invest in cooperatives and infrastructure, connecting farmers to markets and building business ecosystem with farmers and food producers at their center. For over four decades, Heifer International has been a trusted partner for smallholder farmers across Africa. Now we're eager to support them by accelerating the exciting convergence of tech entrepreneurship with agriculture's immense opportunities. Whether through apps, drones, tractors, or other tech, Africa's young creative professionals are deploying tech innovations that are reimagining farming and food production across the continent. They know the farming struggles of their parents' generation may have discouraged many of their peers, but they still believe farming can provide a promising future for their generation because they have fresh ideas for how an occupation often associated with hardship can be productive, profitable, stimulating, and rewarding. Despite the impact of the global pandemic, we believe there are many reasons to be optimistic about the future of African agriculture and African youth. And we're excited to share some of these with you today. Heifer has been working in Africa in the last 45 years. We are working in over 11 countries in the continent. And our passion is really to ensure that smallholder farmers are able to reach a living income, that the um, income generated across the value chain is equitably distributed, that our food systems are inclusive, and that farmers can live a dignified life. In the process of working in the continent, however, the issues around youth and youth employment cannot be overemphasized. Right now, our population stands at 1.2 million people. Over 60% of that population is below the age of 25. By 2050, we expect to have over 800 million young people living on our continent. And the World Bank predicts also that by 2035, we will need over 430 million jobs for the youth in our continent. With the bulging youth population and the issues of unemployment with the young people, we now also have the scenario where we have an agricultural sector with the world's largest arable land for farming, but also a sector that is underproducing. We have the lowest productivity per hectare in our continent. We have an aging smallholder farmer population who currently account for 60% of the food on our table. So here we are with a sector that could create jobs and transform the continent and improve our GDP. However, the future workforce for that sector is unwilling to go into the sector simply because the sector itself is not attractive and is not considered to be a career for the future. And this for us in HEFA, we saw these two challenges as a dynamics that if brought together effectively and leveraged through technology can actually become an opportunity. And that is the reason why we embarked on the research that we had done recently across 11 countries in the continent, so that we can begin to understand from the ground up the challenges hindering the youth from embracing agriculture as a future career and the problems hindering smallholder farmers from being able to reach the fullness of their potential.
one of the things that we learned from that report is the impact of COVID. You see, COVID has helped us to not learn something we did not know before, but has really brought it more to light. And that is the fact that our smallholder farmers and even the youth in Africa are really separated by the digital divide. So as the world went into isolation, smallholder farmers and the markets that they work with had no means of staying connected. So the rest of the world was able to get online, sit on Zoom calls, go back to business as usual, leveraging technology. Smallholder farmers and the communities where they live and work do not have those privileges because they are living in low infrastructure environments. And this, of course, meant that the impact of COVID on their businesses was really, really um, severe. The report revealed that only 23% of the youth working within this space had access to relevant technology to work with. This means that there is so much that needs to be done for Africa to leapfrog, leveraging technology platforms that will keep farmers connected and enabling them to continue business and to continue to interact with the rest of the world is extremely important. And that is one of the things that this report also showed. The need also to make the sector more technology um, enabled so that the young people who are passionate about wanting to work in agriculture can also be able to bring in their tech passion into the sector and solve the problems that are needed across the sector to make smallholder farmers remain connected to the markets that they serve. This technology must be compatible with the smallholder farmers' challenges, with their level of education, with the price point that the smallholder farmer is able to afford to ensure that it's a sustainable solution and not a solution that is not sustainable or not suitable for that environment where these farmers live and work. There is a lot of opportunity for young Africans to become the solution to the problems and challenges that we face, ensuring that their voice is strong at the policy table, creating the right kind of policy environment for them to have access to land, for them to also have financing that supports their startup ideas, meeting them exactly where they are at and tailored to suit the uniqueness of their business startup situation is critical for success. To drive this transformation, the report has clearly shown that the youth are passionate, willing to leave the urban areas to come back to the rural area, or require the support and the enabling environment for them to be able to do so. Addressing weather conditions is also critical because that also from the report showed that it contributed 30% to the challenges farmers are facing in terms of productivity. And technology and innovation can address this. New technology and innovation work being done by organizations like Inesha and a few others around ensuring that farmers can get SMS text messaging that gives them appropriate weather forecasts and supports them also to know when to plant and when to sow, sow their seeds and etc. It's also very important to happen. The type of innovation that we need in the continent is one that is not just looking at the production side, but is also looking at every aspect of the work across the value chain and supporting the farmers from the seed production to the harvest to the storage. These types of innovation will ensure that farmer productivity also can be increased and farmers can also make a reasonable, sizable income from the work that they do. We believe that there are lots of possibilities so even within the challenges that this report has unveiled, 
the work that is happening with young Africans across the continent is very inspirational. From Ghana to Kenya to Senegal to Tanzania to Zimbabwe to Rwanda, there are young Africans that have already taken up the challenge to leverage technology to address problems that farmers are facing at the farm level. From drone technology to all kinds of new data um, gathering that enables farmers to not only have access to capital, but also have the necessary information that they need to be able to improve their productivity. This has inspired us in Heifer to understand that as long as we can come together and support these young innovators, providing the necessary enabling environment for them to grow their business ideas and innovative financing to fund them at different stages of their ideas and able to support these ideas and take them to scale. We believe that our young Africans are definitely going to be the solution that Africa needs to unlock the opportunity we see in our agriculture. Mm -hmm.